This is a video blog entry. Those of you who have been listening to my YouTube channel, and I've got over uh, 750,000, I've got 541,000, it's hard to see that, on uh, Philosophy Machine and 209,000 on Ice Water Pictures. And so it's 750,000 views. Um, but in all that time, I've never um, really attempted to organize it, or if I have organized it, um, then the theme will change. But what you're going to see now is videos that are focused primarily on art and in particular interactive art since I am getting uh, my Master's in Fine Arts here in the Netherlands. And um, one of the um, uh, regulations of the course is to do blogging. And so now something that I've done um, hundreds or maybe thousands of videos uh, sort of without um, a lot of pre-thought and just fun and spontaneous, uh, now we'll have a, a central theme about it. Um, but I think it won't change that much because I'll still be talking about what's happening for me and this is just what's happening for me now. And um, I think that's what people have enjoyed about the, the video blog is that I just um, don't censor myself and just sort of put it out there. And um, so anyway, in the class this morning we talked about um, seeing yourself as an artist and and uh, whether you do or not and I think it's it's interesting to even for an artist to begin to label themselves or put themselves into a box and say I am this or I am that and yet unless you have that sort of declaration people don't quite know how to relate to you and so for me my uh, work is a lot about the spiritual mm, communications or ideas that I have been talking about in my videos, but now rather than writing a book or doing a lecture, I'm going to attempt to uh, create a more experiential uh, product, which may be shamanistic or uh, entertainment oriented, like in an amusement park kind of idea. Uh, just something that you have an experience of or you live inside of. And what I was thinking about um, after my second class of the day, which was about um, Max, which is a programming language was the familiar versus the unfamiliar. You know, if you're going into an academic program, you really want things to be somewhat unfamiliar because if they're already familiar, then why are you there? Um, and yet if they are too unfamiliar, it can be hard to grasp it. And so um, the class today was a review, uh, well, actually both classes, but really the, the second class I'm speaking of in Max was a review of something I, most of the things I had already learned, but um, was a great refresher for me. And then we talked about where we might want to go with it. And for me, I'm not so interested in using a Max or processing for uh, playing audio or video, uh, cueing these things, um, but more in terms of getting sensorial input and creating some kind of tactile output or physical output. Yes, there'll be projections and yes, there'll be sound or, or speech. Um, and video may be a big part of it since I have filmmaking experience, but um, it's really not the primary uh, focus for me right now is trying to create things that are new and I'm particularly interested today at least in haptic interfaces that is detecting um, physical input like pulling on a rope or a string or pushing and then um, having an output which is the same and um, it's interesting because you look at uh, we went to document uh, last week in Germany and um, there was one exhibit that had um, things that you could push or pull but it said do not touch and you think about sort of the um, interactive artists really in some ways the child's science museum experience where you want the, you want the the user or the audience to come and use your thing to 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 be self-motivated and to actually interact with it it's not uh, it's not a do not touch situation um, the other thing that was interesting that came up in the morning class was uh, coming up with their signature work or sort of representative work and it's particularly challenging for me because I've done so many different things and you know what do you base it on do you base it on sort of the economic success or the, the number of people who've seen it. Because if you go that way, uh, then it would be this, which is my New York Times ID, um, where I did work for them uh, creating uh, web banners um, and a lot of conceptual ideas about how to market themselves. Not purely art, but they were artistic works. They were graphical and animated, um, and they were conceptual. Um, but I didn't say I was an artist in doing it, and it wasn't artistic, but you know, millions of people saw it, and, and it was quite lucrative. But I think that fails the test. Um, and then I've got um, some of my films here. 
This is The Legacy of Walter Frum, which is the first feature film I made, which is an investigation of the meaning of life as a comedy about a man who is dying and sort of what comes up um, in, those, in that circumstance. Uh, but it was a comedy. And then I did a thriller. Um, this is not the actual cover that we used, but it's the one I picked up. Um, but this is a horror film, kind of, com 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 comedic as well. Um, but again, this idea of, you know, um, what is identity and death also coming up in it. Then I broke away from that, and I did my third feature, which was largely improvised, and I acted in this one, and that was much more fun. And it was called A Film You Did Not See, and it's about uh, artistic process and creation. But it was a breaking with form, again, the unfamiliar. I, di I didn't work with a script, and we didn't follow the strict three-act structure that you see in Hollywood, and that works quite well, but I wanted to try something else. And so, in a lot of ways, maybe this is more representative. Then there's a film which, um, you probably can't see this tiny image, but this is a, a short film that I did, and then I had a psychoanalyst. I said, analyze it um, in a negative way about me, and then we'll record it. And so we did that, and um, that might be my most representative work. It's not particularly great, but it's the idea of looking inside and going to deeper structures. A lot of the work I'm, I'm thinking about doing right now, I'm writing about, is using Jungian archetypes and structures um, and trying to move from a kind of left brain focus of structures and how does the universe work, meaning of life, but inside of a structural basis, um, to more creative and, uh, and sort of experiential, as I was talking about. Um, so, and then I've got other short films. You know, I, I just don't know what actually my representative work is. You could say it was this, um, which is just kind of a rambling, but. Um, maybe the production value should be higher. And then I thought, you know, maybe an image. So this is a little bit wrinkly, but this is an iron-on, uh, which I've used in some plays and uh, created shirts for actors in the third feature film. And it's an image of Buddha and uh, astronaut uh, helmet on top. And, um, and this is actually work that I had done. I didn't actually do it myself. I had an artist do this for me. Um, and so the idea of having other artists collaborate and, and help you create things um, is sort of where I'm going, but I'm not uh, going to frame myself around the methodology. Um, so how do I come up with a signature work? I don't know. That's part of the assignment. I'm not sure when I have to do that by. So uh, for now, we're going to make this the signature work, even though the production value is low and there's no music and there's no editing and there's no interactivity. Um, but uh, it's a great impetus for me to um, examine what my signature work is, which could be just an editing of my past work. But again, Film is just a small part of where I want to go. I want to create environments or experiences, um, whether it's a VR helmet um, or whether it's uh, a space that you walk through with these strings that you pull or light sensors or heat sensors, robots. I, I, I don't know. It could be all those things and I could try different things. But um, right now, since I don't have a lot of interactive work, um, I can't really say, oh, that's my signature uh, piece. So that's a long rambling, but that was my sort of my first video blog entry, second day here of classes, and um, I'll do a little text write-up as well on the blog about it. Thanks for listening.